Greetings, Practices of Leadership class at Moody Bible Institute Distance Learning. This is your instructor, Larry Aspel, and I'm coming to you again here at the end of week two and at the beginning of week three. Just to give you a personal greeting, I want you to know how much I appreciated viewing your video content from week one when I was grading it. it. I really got a feeling that I got to know you better that way. I wish we could do that with all of our classes and some way or another, but it was just a great opportunity. And I know you enjoyed also interacting with each other in week one in the discussion. You know, the discussion board for week two was particularly self-reflective. I know it was difficult for some of you to really wonder. I wonder what people would think of me as a leader. Am I a multiplier? Am I a diminisher? And, you know, it's pretty typical for us with our various personalities to notice that some of you are maybe a little hard on yourself, particularly if you're like me and you're a hyper-responsible firstborn of a large family, you know how that goes. And uh, others of you, you know, thinking, well, you know, it's probably okay. We have our good days and we have our bad days and as leaders, and of course that's all true. But it was a great uh, opportunity for you to reflect and also to, to really kind of encourage each other. So I enjoyed watching you do that. So now we're moving into week three. I hope you're enjoying the book by Wiseman. I know I am tremendously. And it's, uh, again, it's a great example of a book in the business literature, uh, evidence-based, you know, a lot of research gone into it. And But I find it very helpful in any number of contexts, not just in a business context, but any leadership context. So starting into week three, you're going to be starting to examine very specifically the marks of a multiplier, and you're going to be looking at what it means to uh, find, be someone who spots talents and attracts and is a magnet to talent. And you're going to have an opportunity then to reflect very personally and specifically in this week's discussion board as you try to think about someone who you have observed that has the kind of talent you would like to be a magnet to. And that's going to be great to watch you do that. This uh, our, our week three assignment is going to be kind of creative. It's going to ask you to look for a variety of resources for leadership, uh, online resources, digital resources, resources that will allow you to sign up for regular follow-ups and newsletters and so forth. I think you're going to enjoy doing that, but I think even more you're going to enjoy taking advantage of all the other students in the class doing that. I think you're going to end up with a wonderful list of, of helpful resources going forward uh, into the future. I'm looking forward starting tomorrow to grade your SMART goals, and I know that was a very helpful uh, opportunity and an exercise for you, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how that was meaningful to you, and I know it was beneficial to you in a variety of ways. So we're looking forward to a new week. I don't know what the weather's like where you're at, but we're in the mid-80s still here in Georgia, Georgia, where it's very dry and, you know, kind of warm, but beautiful. We do have fall colors, uh, although we're not up in New England where we get the, uh, you know, the sugar maple trees. We have mostly oak and maple and a whole lot of Georgia pine. So it's a great, beautiful time of the year, and I'm loving it. I hope you are, too. God bless you. We're praying for you and your family. For your ministry context, so many of you are very, very busy already doing the work. And so I appreciate you and I'm uh, praying for you every day. God bless you. Don't hesitate to let me know if there's something I can do to serve you in the coming week.